And then uh, Stephen JJ here said, I inherited one of my dad's land as soon as I fenced it in Siaya. Some guy showed up claiming the land was his. Luckily, we know people and he was quickly <laughs> extinguished. Land owning in Kenya. Anyway, I don't know what you mean by extinguished. Mike. Yes. Sambaza. Sambaza yes. Vodka. Sema, sema. Tell, tell us where you're calling from, Sambaza. I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Okay, talk to us, Sambaza. Well, um, a couple of things. I, and I wanted to put give to you. Um, I was in Kenya. Wait, wait, you're breaking wait, wait. up. Sambaza. You're breaking up. Sambaza. You're breaking up. You, 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 uh, new so, Sambaza, Sambaza, that network. You're breaking up. Is it, your network no, no. is not working. Is it your mic? It's clear. So, anyway, okay. Let, I hope. Okay. Is it better? Okay, it's better now. Talk to us. Okay, so what I was saying was I, I was in Kenya just the other day and come to find out that uh, that or, that really that you're talking about, there's an original one. This is like, like the third one. They moved it somehow. But anyway, besides that story, uh, talking about this land issue, um, well, looking at that movie, the three of them, out of the whole thing, I like to tell Afro Jamaican to kind of look at it and look at another theme that even if there were some injustices happening on that front, there's always a silver lining. And I put it in the comments because someone out there would plant a seed to show people that there's something going wrong and some injustices which will create um, some questions to be asked. And I'm thinking that is a silver lining to everything. Yes, it's bad, but there are people who are good out there in this world. Agreed. Mm -hmm. We're okay. listening. No, that's what I was saying when, when I was talking about in as much as pertaining to even history, in as much as you try to whitewash, there are those people who there are those people who keep records. They're custodians. They're custodians. Yes. And there are those people who who who's let's say I'm gonna say Whatever it is, supreme being, something, something, the, the nature in them, the Utu in them will come out. Yeah. And in as much as, and, uh, you know, and, and I'm glad he's saying it because the silver lining is now we know that this is the, that right. there's this problem. In addition to that, names have been mentioned. That's what I like about the expose that has been done. Because prior to that, it was always, you know, a, a certain guy. Cartels. Cartels. Cartels yeah. So you, whatever. But now a guy mm -hmm. is names are being there's a dropped. name yeah there's a name and a face yes and a name and a, and a face to it which now you know we just hope that maybe some some action will, will be taken go ahead uh sambaza well that was it um, that was what i was saying but this is a huge topic especially when you talk about the land issue i think in my opinion you should i think bring more people who can discuss the issue of lands actually from Absolutely. Kutoka Nyumbani and, uh, you know, from here and explain their stories because, I mean, it's a huge topic that needs to be explored and uh, kind of figure out how we can deal with it as diasporans and, you know, figuring it out ourselves from here and what we can do. And also there's this thing called Ardi Sasa. I just had a comment with somebody and I was trying, he was trying to figure out how the system works uh, to whereby I'm supposed to go create an account Correct. And then register my land. Yes. And here's the question. Why am I making the, the, this is what he was saying, why am I making it easier for the government to know my information? What are they going to do with it? And especially when I'm inputting it, if I'm going to put my LR number for my land, especially let's say LR249, if someone else comes in and does that before I do, what is going to happen at that point? Well, just the fact that you have registered the land with Ardi Sasa doesn't necessarily mean that that's what the ownership records say, right? Mm -hmm. And Ar mm -hmm. Ardi Sasa is supposed to be a tool that you use for you to go in, register yourself as Citizen X, and then you tie yourself to Land Y and allows you to do things like uh, make payments, whether it's land rates or land rent, whichever one it is, uh, for that particular mm -hmm. piece of uh, property. But when it comes to ownership documents, it is not Ardi mm -hmm. Sasa itself, and the record that you inputted is not the master record 
of uh, land, you know, that LR249. LR249 yeah. has, has a master record. And uh, Ardisasa is... the green is, card. Yeah, yes. And then there's also the other records prior to the green card, right? Uh, and so mm -hmm. just the fact that you have... It's an easy way for you to now go, up, go about uh, paying all your taxes and dealing or having any dealings with the land's office as it pertains to that particular uh, LR number. Okay. All right. I think this topic... All right. Appreciate that. It, it, mm -hmm. it needs. No problem. It, it thank needs, you, Thank you, Sambaza. And the learning that topic. Yes. That was all I, I had to say. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank, all thank right. You. Thank you, Sambaza. Uh, I think that this uh, uh, land needs a dedicated episode. It does. We need sure to does. get someone who can give us value. A land lawyer from Kenya. That's yeah. What I yes. I, I, this one, this might might even need w more than one person because there's, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot. There's a lot of moving parts. And I always tell people when it comes to technology, as long as there's dishonest people. In that system, the uh, technology they will always figure it out, and they'll always find ways around it. Uh, so uh, you know, let let le le let me read the comments faster here because we still have one more topic to cover, and time is really uh, running out. Uh, Esther Mulusa says, um, "No, wait, before I get to Esther Mulusa, uh, Udima Thenge says, I think before there was the Greek Empire." Uh, I think uh, I think that was pertaining before, when you're talking about before the Ottoman, before the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, Esther says most Kenyans don't know that Kenya and Palestine were offered to the Jewish Zionists as choices to settle. Kenya lost by one vote, and the Jews were given Palestine. Kenyan Highlands would have been present day chosen land. Yes, we already talked about this, Esther. Mm. I think you missed that episode. It was uh, two weeks ago. It wasn't ago. last yeah, week. Yeah, two weeks ago. It was the week before. You know, like uh, what in what was called the, the, what's happening in Palestine could have been it could have been you. It could have been happening to Kenya. Kabisa. Uh, and then uh, Udi Madenge in reference to Saudi Arabia, the home of Saud was created, and his kids became part of the inheritance. That's very true. And then Esther says, but Kenya used to trade with South Africa. Chinia Maji, lay, uh, like our master Britain, or rather Chinia Meza, like our master Britain. Uh, let me see. Um, Slay says we need to rewrite our history. No, the history is there. It just needs to be brought uh, back to life. Um, and then uh, Stephen Batty was just talking to us, saying the one thing I noticed about this land issues there's always a silver lining or somebody out there trying to do good for you. They may not go outside and say this is injustice, but they still plan to st to see the show that there is something that is uh, there's something right going on. Okay, and then uh, Stephen JJ here said, "I inherited one of my dad's land as soon as I fenced it in Siaya. Some guy showed up claiming the land was his. Luckily." We know people, and he was quickly <laughs> extinguished. <laughs> Land owning in Kenya, and yeah, anyway, I don't know what you mean by extinguished. Uh, you, you, that could mean anything. He, he, oh yeah, it <laughs> could have been taken out by those jammers who remove fences. And you know, and you know, <laughs> Stephen JJ has legendary stories. You know, like one oh, of the stories. Oh, he was the uh, the guy of uh, Malaku Mount. Uh, no, he was uh, the na, guy. No, na no, no, wa ku, ku kwa kwa no, no wa FBI. Yeah. So, so yeah, Stephen JJ, we, we actually need you. One day when we become rich, we'll be hiring you for stories. Uh, well, well, once one Mike shows, he needs to go check money. that fence of his. You know, they may have moved it. Yeah, well, they yeah. move. They move the fences. By the, the fences way. are moved. Yeah, uh, but it seems like in a Stephen JJ, they know people there. Uh, and then uh, Slay says renewing the lease for the land is also another loophole. Uh, you all remember the co the call and don't get uh, shadow banned. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, we. We, we hope we don't get shadow banned. And then Washeke says, your forgiveness is why there is no accountability or justice. Akenyi says, we are too forgiving, especially to those who are at the top of our social uh, hierarchy. Uh, and then Evans Marube says, very scary. Land ownership saga, especially for diasporans who toil many years just to retire in land, in land dilemma. Uh, Slay says, the whole Ministry of Lands needs to be cleaned. Uh, and then uh, she says again, and not just the Ministry of Lands, all the corrupt individuals should be relieved of their duties and there should be serious consequences for those who manipulate information at the Ministry uh, of, of Lands.